Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have a five pound note from the United Kingdom. And as you can see right on the front we have Queen Elizabeth II here. It says five pounds or this is a symbol for pounds. Five. Bank of England. I promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of five pounds. And then over here on the left it says London for the governor and the company of the Bank of England. Down here we have the chief cashier's signature. We have a five here, a five here. And if we look really closely down below the queen, there is a five here and another five here. So they have a bunch of security features on this bill and we're going to kind of take a look at them as they go through. In fact, since we're right here, why don't we actually turn this security feature on, turn this up a little bit brighter, turn the lamp off, and you'll see that there's a watermark here of the queen. And the queen is facing to the right, where she on the front of the bill is facing to the left. So this watermark goes right through the paper. It's actually made into the paper. And so you can see it from both sides. And when we flip it over, you'll be able to see it from that side also. Another thing that you'll see when we get over here is that there is a specific, uh, let me get that way back down again, right here there's also something else in the paper and that's E and the two I's and an R. Elizabeth Regina II or Queen Elizabeth II right here inside there and it's really hard or at least they hope it would be very very hard to counterfeit this kind of um, imagery with all the different stuff that they have in it. Another thing they put in over here was a magnetic strip which we see in a lot of the bills these days. And if you put the light way up you can see that the magnetic strip actually goes right through the paper. You can see it from both sides and so this whole line but it comes it's almost like stitched in it goes under over under over all the way down through uh, the, the whole paper. And this, when you look at this note with the light on it, you can see all the different stuff from the back through it too. So it, it kind of, it's kind of a specialty note. But what happens is that this note was actually demonetized in May of 2017. So right now this note has no value. And so in a really weird way, it became worth more once the bank demonetized it or made ceased to make it legal tender because they took all these in and burned them and destroyed them. Um, so there aren't as many, there aren't hardly any of these notes around. There's none in circulation, right? Because you can't buy anything with it. And so the only ones that are around are ones that people either didn't bring into the bank or that collectors kept. So it's actually worth slightly more than it was when it was uh, of currency value. If we look at the back, we see in all of back here, it says five pounds. It has George Stevenson on it. It says 1781 to 1848. And that's another story that we should talk about. George Stevenson was the inventor of the rocket locomotive. If we blow this up over here, we see the rocket locomotive. It actually says rocket on it. It was one of the first train engines. Stevenson Rocket Locomotive, 1829, Skurin Bridge on Stockton Darlington Railway, 1825. And so over the top of this bridge, you see another train going over. This one, um, which this was in, um, made in 1825, but this wasn't made until 1829. So this kind of, they're trying this out on the track that's been there for a number of years. We have this funny little thing here, which is a horse men carrying the standard of England, uh, the flag that they kind of rode into battle with. And there he's riding the horse. Um, it says Bank of England, five pounds here. We see the stars, we see the bubbles, we see all the different shapes here. Uh, we see the wheels of the locomotive and the steam coming out of this rocket locomotive. Now, we also ought to look for that mint mark again, right? And there comes the queen right through the other side of the note, and this side, this way she's facing to the left in the same way that Mr. Stevenson is facing. Now, again at the bottom it says the governor in Bank of England 1990. This is not actually a 1990 note, however. 
This is a note from 1993, the second version of this note. And what happened was, when they first put out this note, uh, the where it says the pound here, it was really faint, so they made it darker. This is an olive color here. I don't, you, you can probably see that pretty well. Um, so they made that darker on this version of the note. And this up here where it said five pounds was also so light that you couldn't see it on some of the notes as they faded. So they made this darker. So you can tell this is a 1993 simply because how dark the five pounds is here and how dark the olive is here. And that means that this is a five pound note. There was another version of this note that came out afterwards, and that had uh, Mrs. Fry on it, and it essentially Emma Fry, the prison reformer, and that came out in 2002. So this note we know was first made in 1993 because of the darkness of the five pounds, and we know that in 2002 a new note came out, so we don't know exactly what year this was. Now, the funny story is that when they first made this note in 1990, they messed up the dates here. So instead of 1781 to 1848, it said 1781 to 1845, which was wrong. And so the um, currency controller and uh, the uh, Bank of England had to destroy all the notes. They made 300... Uh, they made um, 300 and 300,000, I mean 30 million uh, pounds worth of this note. Sorry about that. They made 30 million pounds worth of this five pound note and they had to take them all and destroy them because they got the date wrong when the uh, engraver uh, misread the plates. So that cost, they think that cost the government almost half a million dollars or 180 to 200 something thousand pounds to fix this at the time. But this is the real one, and this is the one that was made from 1993 until 2001. So have a great day from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel.